Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Thursday, February the 22nd, 2018. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypothesis, hypotheses or scenarios or trade plans, whatever you want to call them. These are our assumptions of what the market is going to do. Uh, we do not know uh, what it's going to do. We simply create a plan based on simple auction logic and who would take control and then wait to see what the market does and then execute the plan that best suits the market. This is a subscription service. If you're interested in checking it out, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website. There's no blog. This is not a commercial venture. We do everything live here in the go-to, and then we do live trading and analysis during the course of the trading day. Please read through the uh, disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. Uh, we are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results in the trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk, risk metrics. So take a look at yesterday. Yesterday, our main hypothesis was a open auction in range, a uh, push up into the 26 to 33 area, and then rotate down uh, towards the uh, the 2709 uh, area and then push through down to the overnight low or the range low at 2705.75 and uh, and uh, take out the overnight uh, low um, and then start to base down there and work our way up. Hypo 2 uh, was the opposite, taking us up into that uh, that 40, and then hypo three was an open drive, and up into uh, that uh, 44 uh, area, and we kind of got a bit of hypo one and uh, hypo uh, three, and a little bit of hypo four. So I mean, there's a reason why we uh, create uh, these multiple plans and then look for where. Uh, we would be looking and obviously we were using 18 as our over underline yesterday uh, Once we got below that uh, they took us right down you know almost to the tick to the key line in the sand and held of course we closed with a neutral extreme we broke the IB to the high side then we broke the IB to the low side and then sold off into the close for a uh, uh, neutral extreme day and we were expecting continuation uh, in the Globex due to the fact that we closed at the extreme and we did. We went down and uh, tested that uh, uh, 2682 area. Looking at the overnight inventory, <coughs> excuse me. Overnight inventory again is pretty uh, neutral. I'd say it's about 60% uh, you know, net short, uh, but we have come up uh, in the European session and into uh, the uh, approach of the RTH session, and we are now pushing the highs of the night. Uh, our high is likely to expand further up even before we get to uh, the RTH uh, open. Uh, our VPOC is, uh, is way down here below us, um, so... Uh, we found buyers down here in the 2691 area and have come back up. And we're going to be, you know, here we are starting to push uh, for new highs. We're going to be opening up back inside of range uh, and possibly even we can get uh, up a little bit further, possibly even into uh, value uh, from yesterday. Taking a look at the news we had uh, initial jobless claims came out uh, uh, better than uh, expected, less than the 230, came in at 222. Uh, continuing jobless claims came out better than expected. But the Canadian uh, uh, core retail sales came out uh, really horrendous. Uh, 53 minutes from now, we've got Bloomberg Consumer Confidence, and then 10 o'clock, we've got Dudley speaking. Of course, we had the FOMC minutes. Uh, you know, that came out and uh, caused the sell-off. 
um, you know, from near the high of the day. And uh, then at uh, 1030, we've got natural gas. And then uh, the next big one will be the crude inventory uh, and all the, uh, the liquids that go with it. Uh, we've got uh, Bostic speaking at uh, 1210. And then we get the seven-year note auction and then Kaplan speaking. So we have a bunch of Fed speakers today. They're going to be commenting on the minutes from yesterday. So these could cause some volatility as, uh, as the, they make their speeches. Taking a look at the macro to the micro, uh, I always like to start my day. I start with a simple candlestick chart. I start on the monthly. I use two uh, moving averages. Now, somebody sent me uh, a note saying that these are lagging. I know they're lagging. It's not. It's how I'm using them. I don't use them to trade. What I'm trying to do is understand where we are within the trend. And I use a 9 EMA and a 20 SMA. And I start on the monthly. I simply want to see you know, where we are in the different time frame uh, in terms of the trend. Do we have good slope and separation? Is price paralleling the 9 nicely? Uh, or are we coming down and challenging the 9 or, uh, or breaking or challenging the 20 and possibly getting a new uh, trend. This is you know, this is still valid. I don't care. I'm an, I'm a technician. Uh, I don't use moving averages to trade, but I do use moving averages for targets and for trend. Going to so the trend is very much intact on the monthly. Going to the weekly, you can see that we were uh, challenging the trend and possibly starting a uh, move down. Then we. Uh, we pop back up. You can see, though, that, uh, you know, uh, this week uh, and last week are inside weeks. So we are getting two sided trading for once and, uh, you know, seeing some large volatility in rotations. Our daily average to range, the 20 period full session average to range is now up to 6210. Uh, that's the highest I've seen it uh, in many, many, many years. Going to the daily, you know, we were starting to get this downward trend. They took it back, but they're fighting to get back above the 20 and uh, now trying to hold the, uh, the 9. Uh, so, you know, we're going to be watching that uh, 20. I'm watching the 2709 area, um, but uh, we are seeing some weakness. Going to... The uh, four hour, four hour, we basically are in the sideways consolidation with, uh, you know, uh, you know, a possible failure if we can't get back above the, the 20 here. Um, but uh, basically no real direction. And last but not least, just going down to the 30 minute, you can see that we have, uh, gotten back above the 9 and the 20, and we're starting to get slope and separation to the upside. And key for this is to note that the if you look at the micro composite, now the bigger micro composite, the uh, micro composite VPOX all the way down here at the 2643, and even if you uh, go out a little bit further and to that gap up uh, all the way back, uh, with the breakout of the last balance, uh, the micro composites all the way down here at the 2580. But the four day, now I'm including the holiday. I don't scrub my data, but uh, even if you scrub the, the data, uh, it wouldn't change. It would just, you know, knock out this one day right here. But the overall <clears throat> five day Micro composite VPOC is still up at 33.75, and even with the weakness that we've seen the last two days, <coughs> uh, the micro composite is still above at the uh, at the 29 area. So the sellers clearly stepped in uh, at that area and uh, and pushed us down, and we haven't found uh, haven't found uh, buyers down here as of yet. So taking a look at the overnight, uh, we basically uh, dipped down to the 82, found the buyers, and the buyer, buyers have been in control, working our way up, trending it up towards, and we just put in a new uh, overnight high. Uh, so we'll have to make some adjustments there. So our overnight high is now at uh, 11, and this could probably uh, even change uh, again. 
So just below the value area uh, from yesterday. Uh, we've got our micro composite VPOC up here. Our over underline, I've moved up from the 18 uh, to the 19. I want to see us get above the midpoint and, uh, and uh, above yesterday's open uh, to get a target into that uh, 25, 75, and hopefully back up into balance up here in the 3375. Remember that our week open is 3450. So uh, we are Thursday and we are below the week open. But due to the size of the uh, of the uh, daily ATR, I'm not paying a lot of attention to, you know, at 62 points for the daily true average true range, I'm not paying a lot of attention to the weekly uh, critical mass or uh, the weekly uh, upside and downside ATR targets. The ranges are just uh, are just too big. Um, watch the 2704 uh, area. A break below that, I would be targeting down here at the 2775 and a possible move to uh, test that key line in the sand down at the 93 and a quarter. And if that gets broken, a push down to the overnight low. Our year open, remember, is down at 2675.75, so we're still in a bullish year. Uh, but if we do see some weakness today and that uh, 82 doesn't hold, I am targeting a move down to the 75.75. So I've got my levels set up. The, uh, the uh, daily ATR just shifted up uh, three points, so this goes up to 51. 51.50 and so we've got range capabilities down there and then our upside uh, daily ATR from the 82 low is up here at 53 and a quarter so we still have uh, you know range capabilities that will take us above and below yesterday's range so what are my hypotheses my hypo one due to the fact that we've uh, we violated the one time framing on the monthly, and we are seeing those sellers step in above uh, at that two day micro composite up in the 27 area. I'm looking for an open auction in uh, range, possibly in value, but depends on where we open. We, uh, I'm looking for a uh, move up towards the 18 19 area and somewhere between there and the uh, and the 24, I'm looking for responsive sellers to step in and rotate us down through uh, the range and come down to the 93, at this level, and then fail and come down uh, into this uh, 82 and take out the overnight low and, uh, <clears throat> and the year open down at 75. That is hypo one. Hypo two is an open auction in range a push down to close the gap and somewhere uh, down here between the 2700 and the 93 i'm looking for uh buyers to step in and rotate us up through and into that 27 area and up into the 33 and i'm looking to close up here in the 33. hypo three was which is my expansion would be my breakdown scenario open auction in range, failure to get above the over underline, seller step in early, take us down into the 80, uh, the 2680s, chop around here, then fail, break below the year open and push down towards the uh, 2650 area, uh, possibly even coming down to that uh, 26, where's the micro composite VPOC is 2643 and a quarter. Let me just put that on the chart. Okay, and then hypo four will be a open test drive, move down, close the gap, find buyers uh, just uh, just below the 2700, and then ru uh, rip us up into that 19 area chop here, and then push up into the 33, accept value again at the micro composite VPOC, and push up into the 62 area, and uh, start making our way back up towards the 2800s. So those are my main hypotheses in ES. Just take a quick look at gold. We 
We've had a uh, $41.50 move down in gold. Two-day VPOC. Is still above us at the 30, 31 level. We're fighting a key level right now at the 28. If we can't hold the 28, I'm looking for a, a, another push down to the value area low here in the 22 to 20. And if that doesn't hold, a move back down into uh, this microcomposite VPOC down here at the 16 level. Uh, but I think we might, uh, if we do see some weakness in the, uh, in the indices, I think we could see a move back up into the 31 area to 32 uh, area. So I'm watching this 28. If we can get above that, then I'm looking for a move back up here. And if we accept this price here around the uh, 31, a push to the other side of balance up here at 35. I don't think we're gonna see a lot of range in gold today. Uh, I think we're going to see some balancing in this area. Uh, but if we do get above the 35, then look for them to pop, pop it back up into that 39. Anyway, that's what I'm looking at in the ES, I mean, sorry, in, in gold. That's going to complete our pre-market session. Again, uh, if you're interested in checking out the uh, live trading and analysis during the course of the trading day, uh, we just put in a zipper measured move. Let's just look at that. Um, I'm not crazy about zipper measured moves going into the RTH session um, that were put in in the Globex, but because of the fact that we've got uh, uh, those targets above, uh, 20, 27.16.50, $27, and it is not violated until we get below the 27.02 and a quarter. So just uh, if we continue to see strength on the open, uh, uh, you know, I'd be targeting that 1650. Anyway, that's going to complete our pre-market session. If you want to check out the live trading, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. That's going to complete it. Have a great day. Trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.